I'm not cleaning the background. I'm not putting the jacket on. I'm not putting a jersey, my Drew and shirt. No. The hair, it's staying messy as it is because I am not going to put effort in when the team I root for doesn't put it in on the damn penalty kill. Habs lose if you couldn't tell by how mad I am. 4-2 to, to the San Jose Sharks, a team that they have now lost 9 straight games to. The last time I remember them beating them, the last time they did beat them, sorry. Antti Niemi was in net for the Sharks for that game. He was Montreal's backup last year, remember how bad he was? They haven't played San Jose in San Jose yet this season, but if it's anything like last night's game, then guess what? It's going to be even worse. They're not going to win that game either. They haven't beaten San Jose in San Jose since the year I was born. I was a month old the last time they beat them in San Jose. But no, let's talk about the game that just happened in Montreal. I don't want to, but I will. I shouldn't have to go through every little bit of that game because it doesn't matter. When did they lose that game? Poor defensive coverage, blown assignments, and they can't kill penalties anymore. And by anymore, it was, the penalty kill was decent last year. It wasn't anything special. But, oh my god, what was that last night? Evander Kane, Logan Couture, oh, you know, it's not like those guys were 20, 30 goal scorers. Let's just let them do whatever they want. Kane had 30 last year. He had two last night. Anthony Stewart on Hockey Central at noon was saying, you know what, I love the Sharks' power play. It looks so deadly against Montreal. Guess what? It wasn't. They had two shots in the first two, and they all went in because they left Logan Couture wide open for a one-timer. Who was good in this game? Price was. I saw people blaming Price for this game. Are you kidding me? You can't let cross-crease passes just happen like it's nothing. You don't let a team like the Sharks do what they please with you. They have players like Burns and Eric Carlson. How have we forgotten how good Eric Carlson is? He's been gone for a year for the East. I remember how good he is. He can score 20 goals and he's a defenseman. Brett Burns, dude, uh, dude, how many points did he have last year? He had over 80. I could talk about how at one point in the second period, shots were 15 to 3 for Montreal. The Sharks didn't even start Martin Jones. They had Aaron Dell, who might be their better goalie. Doesn't matter. They got their asses kicked by Toronto. That's fantastic. But no, they couldn't do it for all Montreal. No, they couldn't. They couldn't. It's not good enough playing better. It's not good enough to be the better team. You lose, you lose, and you're missing out on the damn points that you need in an Atlantic division that is a frenzy. Yeah, early. Nick Cousins, his first goal is a half. I love it. Assisted by Chugga 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 Thompson. That was about it. That was the only good thing. Yeah, Armia gets a goal later on. Why is Armia and Druin separated from Yasperi Kotkiniemi? It's been their best line. So you know what Cole Julian does? Let's separate them. What are you doing? I don't understand why you're breaking up the one line that has made Jonathan Druin play his best games to have and the same for Yasperi Kotkiniemi. What happened in this game? That happened against Minnesota, Tampa, and St. Louis. Towards the end of a period and to start when Montreal gets scored on again. Play the full 60 minutes because when you keep letting these goals at the last minute or to start a period happen, it completely kills your momentum. Yeah, the power play looks great, but they don't have anyone who can finish. Everyone say, oh, they won the Pacioretty trade. He could bury a damn goal. And until Cole Caulfield is ready, they don't have anyone who can put the puck in the back of the net without having to fight for it. Gallagher's a 30-goal guy, yeah? But he has, he literally gets beaten by six other players. The goalie, too, because you know how he hits them. And he gets up in the smile, but he's got to do that kind of stuff to score. Philippe Deneau is a great two-way player, but he's not a sniper. Tomas Tatar isn't a 30, almost 40 goal scorer like Max Pacioretty was. And Nick Suzuki, a power play specialist, but he's a, he's a playmaker. He's very cool. Kinemi has a wicked one-timer, but guess what? Claude Julien's not going not gonna to let him work on that. No, not like Austin Matthews is doing it in Toronto and there's nothing. Speaking of which, they play the Leafs tonight. Hockey Night in Canada, they may be playing Michael Hutchinson, but that does not matter. You have to be better. You're not going to have another lucky... Oh, hey, I'm Kasperi Captain. Let me throw my stick up. Oh, I hit my light there. Excuse me. Let's look at Montreal's past week. The Minnesota Wild. Jason Zucker calls out their entire team and their coaching staff. What happens? He has the best game he's ever played against Montreal. And Montreal gets killed. The Sharks. Logan Couture calls out half of their stars after a crappy performance against the Sabres, losing in overtime. And guess what happens just the other day with Toronto? They lose to the Bruins again. Days after beating them, but no one cares because it's Toronto. Everything's terrible there, right? Shut up. Look at how good your team is. You're making the playoffs. But anyway, Austin Matthews said something along the lines, all were family, but sometimes you have to yell at your family, which means Montreal tonight are going to get killed by Toronto, a team with so many deadly weapons, so many great finishers on the power play, if they keep being so inept on the penalty kill. 
I actually, I have a creative writing class, and one of the things for this portfolio you have to do is write a rant. Uh, originally, it was about how much I hate being interrupted, but instead, what I decided to do was I completely redid it, and I made it about hockey. I've only been a fan of the game since 2014, which at first feels like that wasn't that long ago, and you realize, oh, holy crap, remember how bad the Leafs were in 2014? Yeah. Remember when Phil Kessel was a Leaf? Waste of an era! But in that time, it's just, it's just this team. I love them. I really do. But I just get so effect, like, affected by this team. It's not healthy for me. The game against Toronto earlier in the year, like, my pulse was going, do, 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 do. Something is not healthy about that. And I don't know how I'm going to cope if they don't beat Toronto tonight. I really, I really don't. They don't have John Tavares. They just come off a win against the Sharks, so I, I don't know what they're going to be like. It's a make-or-break team. It sounds like my Badcock's on the hot seat, so I don't know. Um, I hope they, they, they show some effort against the Leafs tonight. That would be fantastic. Um, yeah, I think I got it out. I, I don't know. I don't know. If you like this video, this is the first time this season I've really lost it. So if you liked this, if you're expecting to see me get mad when they lose, which might well happen tonight, or if you're excited to see me talk about if they can beat Toronto, either way, you should like this video. You should go down and click the subscribe button. You should put the notification bell on to notify whenever I make these videos and upload them. Check out a new episode of the 2 on 1 podcast, which uh, I actually recorded with Alex and guest Daniel uh, right before shooting this, actually. I think I need to go lie down now because my head... Uh it's hurting. Bye.